So, legacy, legacy. My little kids were five, and five, four, and two. We're talking about mommy guilt yesterday. You guys, how many of you have plague yourself with that, right? You feel so guilty that maybe, maybe you're gonna ruin your children, right? It's just like, am, am I gone too much? I wanna reiterate what so many of the beautiful women on this stage have said. They are watching you and they are taking note of somebody who keeps pulling themselves up by the bootstraps, keeps going when they're tired, stays when almost everyone else would quit. The smart ones left, you stayed and kept going, right? But your kids are watching you. I know a successful day, back in the day, a successful day could simply be no one died and I think they got some food, right? Like, whew, successful day. So. Don't let yourself get beat up because guess what? The time will pass and guess what? I didn't ruin them. I didn't ruin them. In fact, I really like how they all turned out. And many of you know that one of the happiest days of my life was a few years ago when my youngest daughter, um, after graduating from college, came to the launch of our new, we were transformed our business like five years ago, which got me so lit up. She was sitting by me, she grabbed my hand and said, mom, what's been beside me my whole life is actually my destiny. One of the happiest days of my life. I love building this business with my daughter. But guess what else these people started? There's my man. There's my man. Do you know what kind of man it takes to be with a powerful woman, right? It's a really, it's so special. Um, but look what started happening. I, talk about legacy. I'm just giving birth to mine. Not me personally, but right? Some people recruit nations. I'm just gonna, my kids are just giving birth to nations. <laughs> but it, I'm, the reason I'm sharing this is because I do know this. Hundreds of thousands of people's lives are better around the world because I said yes 30 years ago and because I kept going even when it was tough and I stayed when most people quit. I know hundreds of thousands of people's lives are better because of that. But guess what? So aren't these people's little lives. And after all of these baby boys, look what happened. We got a baby girl. <laughs> and so I watched my kids and the way that they are raising these grandbabies. You guys, how many people are grandparents? Is it crazy? Is it crazy? When the first grandbaby was born, I'm like, I'll never be able to love another thing this much. The second one was born, it's like he didn't even blink his eyes and I'm like, I would give my life for you, <laughs> right? It's crazy. It's crazy that there can be that much love, right? But I watch my children, here's what I know. I know that me making that decision to be a home-based entrepreneur all of those years ago and sticking with it all of these years, I know that because my children saw me going after my dreams, they learned that theirs matter too. And they're teaching their babies that their dreams matter. It's different thinking in our profession and they have passed it along. So um, a defining moment and then I'm, then I'm out. Early in my business, when I didn't have money and I had no business experience, but we were doing belly to belly and I was running all over the place doing meetings. Sometimes I would do two or three in a night, right? Total massive action. And there was, a, a, I sat down with my kids when I first started my business, like, you know, like we're, we're told to tell your significant others what you're doing, enlist them in your dreams and let them know that it's gonna be tough for a while, but I'm going after it. I believe in what I'm doing, be with me. So I sat my kids down who were five, four and two. And I said that and they're like, uh, yeah, 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 and they went out to play. Well, several months later, when I was feeling like it was never gonna happen and it wasn't spinning yet, but I was working so hard and gone so much, thinking I could, I, I, I could be making more money working at McDonald's than I'm making right now. It was that challenging of the number of hours I was giving. I was heading out to go to another meeting and my little three-year-old at the time, Todd, came running out in his soccer pajamas, bare feet, crying, mommy, mommy, don't go, mommy, don't go. Like those words, right? And 
I stopped the car and went over and picked him up, held him in my arms. What he could not see is that I was crying too. I was so spent. And the thought crossed my mind, I could blow these meetings off, no one would even know. No one's gonna join anyway, right? It's like, I was promised 100 people, there'll be three. I could blow it off and, all, and no harm done. But from somewhere inside of me, and I don't even know where, but it was a defining moment, I said, sweetheart, with tears in my eyes, go inside, be a strong boy, and I promise you, someday I will take you kids everywhere I go within, thank you, within a very short time. I started taking these kids everywhere I go. I was able to travel all around the world with these kids, taking them to places that I wouldn't have been able to find on a map before my business. Um, Istanbul, right? Russia, I had a huge, huge business throughout Eurasia. Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, right? Like who even knows, right? Uzbekistan, all of these places. China for my 50th birthday. Um, anyway. We traveled the world, and I'll tell you, I've told that story hundreds of times in an effort to get moms to see the big picture, to see what's happening generationally, to see the gift you're giving if you'll just back burner things, be present when you're present, but just do your business intensely for a season watch what you glean, not just in money, not just in freedom, but in who your children become. So I've told this story hundreds of times over 30, over 30 years, but I shared it at my most recent convection and something different got to happen this time. See that little boy on the end? Can you bring the picture up? That little boy on the end? He was there with me because he decided to finally take a look at the business. <laughs> and guess what? After I told the story with him sitting there, he said, can I come up? And I'm like, uh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> a little scared. So he comes, comes on the stage and he shares how hard it really was. Guys, I want to tell you, there wasn't a dry eye. He shared how tough it really was until they became teenagers and then they were stoked when I'd leave. <laughs> they loved it. Like, yeah, mob's gone, party at our house. <laughs> He shares this story, tears streaming down his face. I'm a sobbing mess, because I know I sacrificed things. I missed stuff. I missed the first home run. Like it's, I could cry today, but guess what? I would do it again. I would do it again exactly like this. And my son said she missed some of our soccer goals so that she could help us achieve our life goals. <laughs>